Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi used to be very popular among the international community. But after this so-called uh, Citizenship Amendment Act, he's become most unpopular leader. As a matter of fact, Belgium newspaper calls him a most populist popular leader. And uh, yesterday, United Nations condemned him. The matter of fact, Human Rights Commissioner filed the interlocutory application in the Supreme Court of India. That is all because of his best friend and the Home Minister of India, Amit Shah's uh, so-called Citizenship Amendment Act. But today, the UK Parliament, the House of Commons, across from the party line, Almost every party leaders are blasting Minister, it. join me in rejecting language of riots, clashes, protest and communal violence when this is in fact a continuation of sustained and systemic Hindutva violence waged on the Muslim and yes. many minority ethnic communities yes. in India that yes. is sanctioned by Modi's BJP government. That's good question. Yes. Yes. Good question. We've all, the UK government has long regarded protest as a legitimate uh, means uh, uh, of raising issues and part of democratic uh, society. Um, but any allegations of human rights abuses, very concerning. We believe they should be investigated thoroughly, promptly and transparently. As a matter of fact, Indian origin MP was blasting him about this Citizenship Amendment Act and the Delhi riots. Over the last few days, Delhi has been burning at the hands of Hindu extremism. 24 people have been deemed dead so far. Hundreds have been injured under this extreme violence. The Indian government has enacted the citizen law, which has also produced uh, camps, where concentration camps, where they'll be placed and housed people who lived in India for years. There are communal violence against Muslims day in, day out, summary beatings, torture and deaths taking on the streets, as well as the oppression of the Kashmiri people. Can the speaker, can, can the leader of the house please find some time yeah. either to get a, the government to make an agent, uh, to make a statement and have a debate in government's time to have a serious discussion about the human rights and civil liberties at the behest of the Indian government. Yeah. 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 Uh, but look, Speaker, the Honourable Gentleman is absolutely right to raise this pressing matter. We are deeply concerned at the severity and scale of violations of freedom of religious belief in many parts of the world. In December, the Foreign Secretary announced an independent review into Foreign and Commonwealth Office support for persecuted Christians overseas, and there was debate on the persecution of Christians on the 6th of February. But this does not mean that we are not concerned about the persecution of other religions uh, across the world. I, I would urge my, uh, the Honourable Gentleman to raise this matter in next month's Foreign Office questions, but the seriousness of what he is mentioning in the House today has not passed the government by. Watch yourself.